put your hands together right now for Mr. Jerry Robinson. <laughs> Don't get too excited, guys. I was nominated for editing. <laughs> I love my intro. What guy suck in bed? Gary Robinson, come to the stage. Thank you. That's, that's some big girl energy going on there. It's being that big girl energy. Let's give it up for Caitlyn Jenner running for president. <laughs> That girl's got balls. <laughs> like, don't count her out. She can really come from behind. <laughs> this girl can transform California into something we've never seen before. <laughs> like, how great are the promos? The promos have Caitlyn and Bruce. Like, that's not even fair. That, that's, that's two against one. <laughs> but what a great show tonight. You guys have a good time? <laughs> How great was it that the host and the first comedian were both redheads and they both got in a fight? There's like redhead on redhead crime going on here. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew that was like really a problem? Then we had Jay Moore. Jay Moore was in Jerry Maguire with uh, Tom Cruise. And I used to look like Tom Cruise from Rain Man. <laughs> <laughs> now I look like Dustin Hoffman from Rain Man. <laughs> I look like Tom Cruise's missions really were impossible. <laughs> like my hair looks like it was cut by the last samurai. It's kind of the last Tom Cruise movie is called Mission Impossible Fallout. They apparently was about my hair. <laughs> there was no product in my hair at all. It's pointing straight up to find physics and gravity. And this is a magic trick. My hair's doing everything it can to get off my head. It's almost like it's grouping together saying abandoned scalp. <laughs> I got flyaway hair, so it's never flying back. <laughs> God's got a great sense of humor. I'm not religious. My balls pop perfectly holds a yarmulke. <laughs> so, and here's, here's a little fun fact. So Jay Moore was in a TV program called Gary on Mary. Now, I know that was exactly 11 years ago because I was driving down the street saying, Oh, Gary on Mary. My name's Gary. And coincidentally, I'm not married. But within six months, I got married. And then six months after that, I got divorced. So, you know, I had a little big boy confidence, and then it went south at one point. So, it's cool. So there's no married people here tonight. This is the antisocial group, I guess. Anybody have dating apps? I know you're on Hinge. You're getting a lot of, a lot of plumbers on Hinge going. I'm on every dating site knowing a man. I'm on JDate because I got on their discount. I'm on Latin American Cupid, but that's for humanitarian reasons. For every girl that Trump deported, I'm going to import a 25-year-old from Cancun. I'm going to say for atheists, but it's kind of tough because every time you sleep with those girls, they just keep yelling out, there is no God. There is no God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Colombian Cupid. You guys will love this. I didn't get any play on Colombian Cupid until I listed my weight in kilos. <laughs> <laughs> That's a drug trafficking joke. <laughs> now that I'm getting older, I'm getting asked for a set called Our Time for Older People. Like all the dating profiles are obituaries. <laughs> I find it's kind of hard to date a ghost. <laughs> you guys on uh, social media? Yeah. What, what are you on? TikTok? I, I'm on, I love Instagram. Because Instagram, like, I like all the Instagram models who post photos of, photos of like, tits and ass followed by an inspirational quote from Gandhi. <laughs> <laughs> like, just because you got a great ass doesn't make you Aristotle, you know? <laughs> just because you can post a sexy pic doesn't make you soccer. <laughs> I love all the stories on, on, on Instagram because they're the exact same story, every one of them. I have too much time on my hands. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> it takes a while, you have to see the story of it. I like fa Facebook, it's like everybody wants you to like them, and then you gotta like the page for whatever dumb thing they're doing. <laughs> like, I barely even like them. <laughs> Twitter, you guys go on Twitter a lot? Yeah. Like, I see meanness, cruelty, and a complete disregard for other people's feelings on Twitter. And those are just my tweets. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, on, you're on TikTok too? TikTok is really cool because if enough Americans get on TikTok, ultimately the United States will have the world's greatest strippers. <laughs> <laughs> in 
And by the way, if you ever break up with your boyfriend, just look at his TikTok. They're so fucking stupid that you'll never miss him again. Like, TikTok is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so like I said, I got married, someone was lucky enough to get this shit. <laughs> really not that funny, by the way. <laughs> I did go all out. Like, I got my ex-wife a four-carat diamond ring, and when I was shocked for the diamond, I specifically requested a blood diamond. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I bled for it, someone else should too. <laughs> we agreed we were going to have 160 people at the wedding, but she was Latin. So that was just her immediate family. <laughs> and they all arrived in two cars. <laughs> By the way, I, give it up for the DJ tonight. How great was he? <laughs> Thank you guys. I'm a DJ. It's very kind of you. I appreciate the support. I'm like the Calvin Harris of comedy. We're very similar. Calvin's like 6'5". I'm like 5'6". Calvin's got the body of the Greek god. I got the body of Greek yogurt. <laughs> Calvin model for Armani, I can model for hair plugs. So we're very similar. I can do one thing Calvin Harris can't do. I can play myself off stage. And so we're going to see if that works tonight. So we'll see how it goes. But um, speak, uh, any, uh, anybody, like, you guys doing okay through this whole pandemic? We're coming out of it, it looks like. Doing, doing good now? I'm not saying it's been tough on me, but I'm 25 years old. <laughs> My parents, during this pandemic, they celebrated their 56th wedding anniversary this year, which is pretty amazing. You guys want to know what the secret is to a long and happy marriage of 56 years? Hearing loss. <laughs> if my dad's hearing is going in his right ear, he always sits my mom to the right side of him because he can't be annoyed by what you can't hear. So I played myself off stage, you guys. Oh, this is the song I wrote. On Spotify, DJ Sharp, check it out, make me a penny. Thank you.